Ta ka! So what do I do? It's interesting you ask because there's a couple of things I do. One is I have this Apple Watch here on the old wrist. Let's see if I can get that to light up. Look at that, Apple Watch. The thing about the Apple Watch is it makes you want to stand up every hour by default so you are not sedentary for too long. Um, that requires you to put the watch on like first thing in the morning and you know stay up 12 hours. No napping. Uh, another thing about the Apple Watch is it requires you to actually burn calories. So it doesn't work the way the Fitbit does. Fitbit works based on steps. The Apple Watch tries to work based on like your heart and how those make calories get burned. Now the thing is, ever since I got back from Tokyo, I have reached my uh, calorie burn goal, which is something I had never done before on a consistent basis. I think I'm like on day 60 of hitting that goal. And the thing about that is, I feel like it's actually work the opposite in that I may have actually gained weight because forcing yourself to get out there and move around and burn calories means one thing. I'm a hungry boy and I'm going to eat me those burritos. So I don't know exactly if it's the best, but it's also one of those things that like it's better than nothing, right? And that's kind of my approach to a lot of things. I can do water tracking on here too, but like I only drink water. So as long as like I'm throwing away like all those cans of LaCroix, I'm probably going to be good on water. As for sleep tracking, you probably don't want to sleep with the Apple Watch on. Uh, so I got this thing called Sense. It's from hello.is. You can visit their website, hello.is. And it is a ball that goes next to your bed and tracks your sleeping. So you put this other little thing, it's like a little pill that goes on your pillow and it tracks the sleeping from there. And I don't sleep eight hours either. I do sleep around seven, seven and a half hours. Um, and then it will grade your sleep based on like how much moving you did, how much actual sleep you did. And typically it's like, I don't know, it says I do like a 77 sleep score on average out of 100. So I think the highest I got was probably like 89. I won that like one time on accident. One of the things I do is I have a, one of those Wi-Fi scales. So it adds the uh, weight to the Apple Watch and I can go on there and see uh, how much I weigh. I don't typically lose weight. I'm not the most unfit person. I'm not fit by any standard. Also, like, I'm fine. Like, I don't like the idea that, like, when I go out, I only see fit people working out because, like, fit people probably don't need to work out as much as they are. And it may be a controversial thing to say, but, like, at least in the city here, you see people who are, like, dangerously skinny to the point of you feel kind of gross. I don't like all the bones. Uh, being shown on a person as they work out. That's a little, that's a little much for me. So yeah, I, I'm perfectly comfortable the way I am. I could lose some weight. My doctor said I should lose 10%. Uh, I did some math on how much I weigh right now and what 10% would be. He is insane. Like, take away his doctor license because like telling me to lose 10% of how much I weigh right now is absurd. You, you are a madman, doctor. Give me your diploma. Doctor, give me your diploma. Like, that is... You're a doctor. You should know that's not how I work. That's not how this body's going to function. As to say, like, I am conscious of all this, and I don't know. I still don't do a good job. That said, yesterday, I just walked from the mission of San Francisco to Japantown just to see if I could. I will go on, like, a long walk across San Francisco. By the way, let's just throw this out there. The maximum length you can walk in San Francisco is seven miles. So there's not that much of San Francisco I can walk. But it is fun to walk around. I mean, an hour walk will get me like half, a little over halfway across San Francisco, so it's fine. I, I'm, I feel like that's a good walk. I am happy about that. But I love to eat. I'm in one of the best cities in the world to eat food. So, like, the idea that I can have, like, the best burrito every day is amazing. I don't have a burrito every day. Calm down. Don't tell my doctor. I have a burrito once a week. Is that fine? Am I good? Kyle, am I good? I'm fine probably, right?